Hey guys, this is Tolhi and welcome to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. So it's been almost a year now, I think about 11 months, since I first suggested the idea of me playing this as an LP, um, and it's finally happening. Uh, I just hope that I bring justice to this game. Um, it's been a long time since I've played it, so I don't remember much about it. This is not going to be 100%, it's just going to be me playing through and trying to get as much as I can. Um, yeah, so here we go. Outset Island. Hi! Big Brother! Big brother! Big brother! <laughs> Our hero of the tale. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the gulls, I call it- Oh shoot, I forgot to figure out how to pronounce some of these names. Please don't get upset with me. Uh, Errol's Lookout? So do you remember- So do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! That's why grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what grandma wants, don't you think? And control is ours. Oh, the freedom of movement. Um, I should point out, uh, just in case there are any new viewers who find this LP. I am not amazing at reading. Um, I may make a few mistakes. Please forgive me. Although, to be quite honest, I think I've gotten a lot better. If I hadn't tried to do this a year ago when I first intended, I don't think I would have been able to pull it off very well. Because in the past year, I've found my reading has improved greatly. Notice I say improve, because it's still not that awesome. Or that great. See? Can't even speak proper English. Whee! Now... What am I doing? Oh yes, I'm going to get... Oh. Hoi, Link, press L right there and use A to talk to me. Try it. Oh, there you are. Uh, that's correct. You're a smart one. You, my friend, have just learned, uh, just have L targeted me. You see, when you press L, you can target certain objects. I, for one, use it quite often. I, to talk to folks who are far away from me. Of course, even if there isn't anything around to target, you can press L to face forward, you know. It's quite handy indeed. There are a myriad of other ways to use L targeting as well. Quite an ingenious little thing, if I do say so myself. Of course, that's not the only trick in my bag. Not remotely. I can teach you a few more things if you just climb up that ladder over there and drop by my room. I don't think I'll do that right now. Uh, probably gonna leave out quite a bit of the tutorial stuff. Um, because it only really affects me and not you guys. So I already know a couple things because I played around a little bit just to try and get used to the controls the other day. And I know that she wants pigs. And for pigs, uh, why did you bring why did you bring that little piglet all the way here just for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I've been th thinking of getting a pet pig for a while now. The boys will be so happy when they get home. You, sweetie. Okay, Link, hold out your hand. This is your reward. And I skipped the rest of that. But 20 rubies, or yeah. Awesome. 
why this little darling is cute as a button. You know, it's so cute. I wonder if wouldn't even wouldn't mind having even more. And I know just where to find another. Let's take the bridge. Just gonna quickly run through and grab all of the rubies I know of. And yes, I'm saying rubies. Another thing that may annoy people. There's a lot of things I do that annoy people, but I just keep doing them. Yay, another pig. Alright. And then we just gotta return this pig all the way over, and we get another 20 rubies. And then... I think there's a couple blue rubies I can grab, but I'll probably just go get a little interesting friend to help with that. Yes, yes, pig. You're upset by being carried upside down. I'd be upset if someone was carrying me upside down. It'd be rather disorienting. And why did you bring me another piglet? Oh, where are you? Oh, were you all worried that this little guy would get lonely hanging out inside the fence all by himself? That is the sweetest thing I've ever heard. Thank you so much for bringing us another family member. Here's a little something for you. I got another red ruby. What a pleasant surprise. If you find any other little piglets, you know where you can bring them. Now, I haven't actually found any more uh, in the little bit that I was playtesting or running through before. So that's as much as I found. Now we shall head to the boat and quickly grab a couple things in here. The rest of this LP is not going to be as um, straightforward as this. Uh, oh, a customer. Welcome to Beadley's Shop Ship. I deal in pretty much anything and everything. Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me and I'll pay top rubies for your junk. Or do you see anything you would like to buy? Oh, just use the joystick to browse. Uh, the bait bag? Well, yes, I would love that. I'll buy it. You got the bait bag! You can keep plenty of bait in this convenient satchel. It has eight pouches for storing bait, and I can set them to a myriad of keys. Thank you! Thank you! You've got a gr you're the greatest. I'll never forget you. I'm going to make a member's card just for you. When you buy lots of things and build up your points, something good will happen to you. Something very good indeed. My shop is kind to its customers. No other shop will do this sort of thing for you. I'll have you know. Uh, you now have one point saved up. You should try to save up 30 points so you can earn a silver membership. And then we're going to grab the pear. I'll buy that. You got a pear. Hoya pear? Hoya. Hoi. Uh, basically, I can equip it. And I get to take control of a seagull. That's right. We're gonna go do that right now. Goodbye. Thanks for supplying awesome goods. Wee. So if we go into our inventory and we just grab the bait bag and oh yeah, hit the button I want to put it on and select the item like so. And then we bait a seagull. And now we can go collect a couple more rubies. So I spent, I think, 30 being able to do this. And I'm pretty sure I'll make m most of that back. If not, a little bit more. Now let's get one of the harder ones first. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Okay. On the side here. There we go. Normally that one takes me quite a little while. I got it first try but yeah like I said um, most of this LP or pretty much everything uh, of this LP after I get off this first island will not be so guided because um, I really don't remember what to do but like I said I just ran through a little bit just to try and remember the controls and I was having so much fun that I uh, figured a bunch of stuff out so I figured might as well stock up on rubies while I get the chance and oh really come on uh, speed up head out to the ocean turn around come on 
Third pass, third pass. Gotta make it for one. There we go. Just one ruby, but it's worth it. Now, where are the rest of them? Now, there's another blue one on this roof. Let's see if we can hit this one. Oh, oh, oh. Slow down. No, no, no. Ah, oh, I didn't get low enough fast enough. Okay, it's flat. And go in for a second pass. Oh, yeah, and there's this one here. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, there we go. So I'm up to 46. Not quite made up the cost. 51. Still slightly off. What? I think there's one more. Actually, two more. Um, two more, one more. Can't remember now how many I've gotten. We got a nice red one right here. Oh, I missed. All right, finally. After several more attempts, I finally got that one. Um, that took far too long. But we're up to 71 now. And then there's one more green one there. And I think that's it. So 71. I started off with 55 and I'm up to 71. It's not too bad. Just gotta get that last green one. Which is gonna prove to be one of the more difficult ones, isn't it? Come on. And just right up. Now. Oh. You know what? Um, I think that's all of them. We're gonna head back. Cause you know it's just gonna be faster if I do it this way. If I uh, just roll on over, cause I'm pretty sure I can get that one on foot. Oh, and into the water we go. And I think actually uh, this is gonna be pretty much one part after I get the last ruby here. <laughs> not much of uh, not much going on in this first one actually just kind of collecting a bunch of money getting all the rubies on the island well all the ones I know of anyways and it's pretty much gonna be I think it I, I'm, I'm debating because I know there's also the the hundred rubies under the house but I pretty sure I can only hold 200 so I'm not sure if it's worth it to grab it yet but I don't think I come back here for quite some time so it might be just as well to get it now although I guess I could spend some and stock up on oh did I just I did didn't I just threw that behind the trees can I still get it no no it's just one you know what? we're gonna get it we're gonna get this out oh. oh did I climb Oh, let go. Um, didn't realize I could do that. Well, didn't realize I could do that there. Um, so under the house, we're gonna get the 100. And then, I think that's gonna be it. And then next time, we'll go see Grandma and continue. And up. You got an orange ruby. Just one of these is worth 100 rubies. Your face is beaming. Look at it count up. 173. Not doing too bad. Alright. So yeah, for now, um, this will be... Just want to wait until I get outside of the house. Okay. So for now, this will be Tolhi signing out. Uh, later guys.